It's been about 30 minutes. I turned the oven on to 170 degrees Fahrenheit and then let it heat up and then after five minutes after it reached its temperature I turned it off and let the soap sit in there and it's been about 30 minutes as I said and you can see it hasn't started gelling yet but you can see the top is starting to glisten it's hot it's going to be gelling any time so we'll come back and check on it in a little bit I don't know if you can see that smoking but apparently uh, my box touched the heaters on the top of my stove and now my box is burning. Don't do what I do, folks. There's that smoke. I hope it goes out. Stinky soap. Okay, so I took it out of the oven. I'm going to cut that box part off. But I mean, look at the burn. I'm so terrible. It's so awful. About an hour and a half later, well, since putting it in the oven to gel, about 40 minutes after I burned my soap mold, the soap has been fully gelled. And remember, I only turned the oven on at 170 degrees for about five minutes. Then I turned my oven off and I just let the soap sit in the heat in the oven and let it um, produce its own heat through saponification. So I'll probably come back to this tomorrow and cut it up. Okay, it's been about 24 hours later and our soap is ready to cut. I took the soot off from our earlier fire, but this is like my big six pound block of soap. And now we're gonna cut it as best we can. That's kind of cool. Oh, there we go. So there's our first chunk. We're going to go ahead and cut it into our next chunk. And there we go. Now I'm going to take a minute to adjust this cutter into the next the next uh, height that I need, which is going to be one inch. Okay, it took me a minute to adjust my wires on this cutter. It's uh, from Bud's Workshop, and I think he's um, he has really nice work, and I do like my loaf cutter. But I have issues adjusting the wire, and I'm constantly snapping wires. And I've had to reorder so many wires. It cuts good, but I think there's a better method that uh, could be made for changing the length and the desire that you want to cut. So I'm going to cut it at one inch now. And here's my first cut design. Kind of interesting. Looks kind of like peacock feathers. My recipe was like 50% olive oil and I don't normally work with that high of olive oil. I prefer to do mostly hard like hard oils and stuff. So this is still kind of squishy so I'm trying to be extra careful but it's pretty. It's gorgeous. Let me get these snapped wires out of the way. Those wires are dangerous too. I practically snapped my, poked my eyeball out one time because when the wires snap, it's like high velocity and boy do they snap. 